Hello everybody, and welcome back to Heaven's Vault. Uh, my name is Dizzy, and we're playing a new game plus because I went through the whole game and didn't understand a thing that was going on and missed various bits of content. Uh, today, as you saw in the little intro, we are probably going to be heading back to the moon of Iox, which is where the whole thing began. Uh, and it's a place that I skipped entirely in my first playthrough. So I have no idea whatsoever what's going to happen there. Uh, last time we uh, we rediscovered the crown of the last emperor. That crown right there. Oh, apparently it whispered while I was wearing it. Interesting. Metal is a casement for a mechanism of some kind. Does it open? Okay, six is our little robot friend. Can't open it. Okay. Uh, my friend Oro on Elbreth might be able to help. So last time, uh, Kefal suggested... Kefal01 in chat uh, suggested that... Uh, we might take this back to our friend on a friend Ori, so that she will like us, and then take it from there on to my Ari. All right, uh, but we have, I think, the chance to wander around the inside of our ship, possibly for the first time this this new playthrough. Uh, this is the Nightingale, I think. Uh, this is where we keep all the stuff that we've looted, uh, including some random crystals. Uh, so we found the uh, the crown on a moon, a sort of abandoned moon. Uh, the necklace was on the moon. Uh, on a grave marker. Graves in this setting are like really bad stuff. Uh, the dominant religion is called the Loop, and it suggests that you can like be reborn to eternal life, but only if you have your body burn. Uh, I wonder if the Mayans want it back. So we, we are probably going to return that back, and we are going to give the crown to Oroi, and we are also heading over to uh, Iox today. Oh! For the first time we've actually had him respond when we've looked out the window. That's nice. We never found out the, uh, the, the significance of this robe last time. Fabric appears to be of significant age. Is it the kind of robe that would need a brooch to hold it? I'll go so far as to say I can detect the pinholes. Ooh, okay. Right, well, let's get up onto the rivers. Six was already the ropes. And we have to figure out where we're going to. So we have choices. Mersey, Elbreth, and Iox. Uh, and that, which we're not going to yet. I don't see a reason not to go to Mersey first. Go to Mersey first. Uh, and then down to Elbereth, and then to Iox, and then we'll drop off everything that we don't want to have with us on Iox, because it might get confiscated. Which is the figurine and the crown.
We set course once more for Mayersey. I found myself looking forward to it. It was a good place, despite the people. <laughs> everything El Breath Wow, despite the people. <laughs> to be fair, that not all of the people on, on Mayersey were very friendly to us. Actually, that's not true. None of the people on Mayersey were very friendly to us. Uh, so long as we have fast flowing rivers, I'm quite happy to do this bit ourselves. Turn a slash short leash. Right, you are six. I very briefly had the option to ask a question there, and then it left. There we go. So apparently, questions are like more polite than replies and remarks. Is the uh, advice I was given. So if you want to be nice to our robot friend, oh, robots are capable of hope, are they? Hope is a mathematical certainty. That's a way of looking at it. I'm not certain it is correct. See, we're getting on much better. <laughs> okay, and then there's that, but that's fine. <clears throat> um, I'm a little parched today, so you'll have to forgive me if my throat is a bit more clearing than usual. Also, God, this is pretty. That's a stunning view. Where are we in the nebula? Hang on. Sorry, I need to take a big cough. Okay, I need to come down this route specifically more often. Because <laughs> that's the pretty route. Oh, and look! There's that plumbing unexplored ruin. That we tried to find last time and couldn't. <laughs> uh, I can I pull the course from here to Anaki? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, this place is apparently called the Wires, although I'm not super certain why. Remember, didn't hop it down like that. His boat, or crashed. Hmm. I suspect the master remember attempted to detonate himself off the surface of the moon. Okay, and that's why he blew up, is it? Ah, yeah, so we're heading to Mayazi. We're going to give back uh, this statue. Mayazi, a farming room. Maybe they want the figurine back. Uh, and we know that when we do this, we're going to get the soft, wet wind of Mayersi. The thing inside it. Hadn't seemed gentle before. And then they might like us a bit. I can see it now. Maybe Rembo really had liked this place. Yeah, we st we still never found out what he was doing here. Like he seems to have had some sort of a relationship with a woman who lives here, but we're not sure like how they met. Or Well, the robots know when they're activated. Most things. Yeah, you know, unlike human children, they talk and move fluidly. Definitely her, isn't it? Yes, definitely the same person. Do people from here as he sail? I doubt it. Remember, take the statue with him and leave it there. Men's protectors are mostly the upbeats of their own. People here aren't allowed to sail. Yeah, basically. I missed these words last time I was here, perhaps. The emblem of Iox. 
Oh, okay, never mind. Not words. Uh, we are always permanently on the lookout for words. And in particular with the uh, New Game Plus, we're going to get new words. Potentially. Wrapped up safely in cloth. Uh, I wonder if they can tell me what it was doing out there. Right. Oh, hello. I've been hijacked. Ah, so this is the, the Mayersian village. Everything on Mayersi was as we'd left it. The flowers still bloomed. The water still bubbled. Hello. Your man is still eluding you. Uh, I found the remains of his ship. Fire in the sky. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, thank you. I brought you something. Kabanya! Where did you find this? Uh... On a distant moon by a ruined house. In the middle of a hurricane. This is a hermit's effigy. Given to a hermit when they go out alone. To remind them of the place that gave them birth. See here, she opens. And inside, there is... Da -da -da. Words! Oh, we like words. This one is a phrase run together. Okie doke. Right, so we've got waters here, for sure. Waters divide us. Join us. The waters divide us and join us. I suppose the rivers do join us. They did once. Oh, hello, is this backstory? No one knows now how to sail. I ox to nicely to us. We'll put Cabernia back in the well shrine. She prefers the damp. She's been on a long journey, I think. Something fell out. It's here in the grass. Is it part of the figurine? It's not. Hi, Six. That's a rabesque foil. Um, what's a rabesque foil? Never seen the internals of a robot then. Um, so foil is part of a robot? Yes, okay. A rabesque foil is a small scrap of metal inscribed with enormous detail. It's, it's the memory, basically. I hope you find it of value. Thanks! Bye! I hope you enjoy your little figure. So did Renba hide the foil inside the statue? Maybe. So the bridge to my right to lead her on the trail to find it. Maybe it's connected to the body. Maybe it isn't. That was Renba's plan, mistress. Why not simply send the foil? We need to find out what's on the foil. If only we had a robotics expert. Elbereth then. Oh, he's upset by that. Six is not the biggest fan of old Elbereth. Uh, which is a shame, as it is the planet that I come from. Touching scene. Should we leave? Uh, let's have a wander around, because it's the last time we're going to be allowed back here, I think. Possibly, unless I come back with the, the child later. This game is not big on allowing you to revisit places you've previously been to. They don't know history. They don't know who built them. Uh, they don't know who built what? <laughs> who don't know who built what? In fact. A 
robots? No. Something someone once said to me. Perhaps they were thinking of the ethical core. Oh yes, that was in our message from Remba to Professor Mayari that we intercepted via Six. Six sort of got hijacked by the message and stopped being Six for a while. Uh, it was very spooky. Robots know ethics, speech, nothing that only they know. Perhaps they once knew more than they do now. Seeing as, you know, presumably they knew once upon a time who buried them, etc. Excuse me, my good man. Where am I? Okay, well. He at least said hi. You know. Could be worse. Uh, we're heading back to the fields. We're heading via this sort of bit of the uh, area. Are you ready to go now, mistress? No, not yet. You're going to say hi to the pigs again. Hi, Piggoo. So far we've been unable to go up here because apparently this smells too bad. <laughs> and we will later learn that she has lung problems. More the Chronicles of Mazwai that Huang's always reading. Mazwai was a pilgrim sailor who writes about the various places of the nebula and about how the loop has acted in these places. Whoops. Mazwai is an original source for the hypothesis of the loop. I see, okay. Huang says the book became common shortly after the establishment of the Empire. Hi there! Why won't anyone talk to me? Oh, it's finicky. So if Remba found the last emperor unreborn, Larry believes she is the last emperor, does that give her reason enough to want to kill him? To make him and his ship and his findings disappear? Uh, speculation. Yes, it is speculation. Um, But, I mean, if that was the case, why would she send us? And also, given that she hadn't yet received his message, telling her that he knew everything. How would she know to kill him? Because she didn't get the message, we did. You know what these things are that it's made of? Shells. Those are shells. They are from aquatic creatures. Snail-like creature that lives in salt water. There are some in the tanks on Iops. I don't know, I can necklace out of them. I report on humans, I do not pretend to understand the foibles. Oh, six. Oh, six. Right, now somewhere over there is a place where we found a... like a crying lady before. Were well, you switched off while you were buried? Uh, of course he doesn't know! Years, I'd be mad. A thousand years, I cannot remember them. Hmm. Is there anything else about the statue? Anything around here that we can investigate? Remba must have seen that figurine of Cabenia. Must have seen the goddess on the he too. Didn't think to take it to them. 
He was too concerned with his own finds, indeed. Uh, okay, let's have a quick wander around the terraces, I guess, while we're here. See if we can tell that poor woman about Rimba's death. One of the things that confuses me about this game is, like, I, I this time through, I told everyone that, that Rimba was my husband. But the reason why I did that is because if you don't tell them that he's your husband, they still think he's your husband anyway, for no particularly good reason. Like, just because you're a woman looking for him, it's very odd. Okay, I was thinking about the hopper. I know what it does, but what is it? The focus. Receives, reparticulates the hopper signal. Alright, it is time for us to head home though. There is nothing more for us to do here. What's inside it? An interconnected mess of quantum. Quantum creates a field in which the subject is passed and dissected. Does it matter? Yummy mud sounds. We love mud sounds. Back to the ship. We've done all we can here for now. Fantastic. Right, that's my Yazzy done. Now, Elbreth, for a quick visit to Oroi. We will try not to get distracted by the. Uh, slave-related drama that we had last time, because, oh boy. The file. I do not immediately recognize where it was produced. Can you track it down? As best as I can. Collect enough evidence to infer a lost site exists in the Withering Ways. Okay, so we've learnt that the Withering Palace exists now. Uh, oh, I'm still all sloppy, yucky, muddy. Ew, yum. Alright, time to move on. We're heading to Elbreth. We're only making a quick stop, though. I'll prepare the tackle, mistress. Elbreth, please, pilot. Wait, I'm the pilot. Elbreth, please, me. Sailing to Elbreth in the wires. Fantastic. Oh, we can go either way, can we? Oh. Left way is probably simpler. The idea is, if you keep to the middle of the river, you move more quickly. Oops. Especially if you get to a nice big river like this. What are the rivers? Flows of oxygen, hydrogen, and ice. The velocity keeps them coherent, which is nonsense. That's not how anything works, but fine, sure. Why do they wind? Also an excellent question. Why aren't they straight? Oh my god, Alia, you can't just go around asking people why they aren't straight. Oh, we've got a little ruin. 
Why does water swirl and mix with wine? It doesn't? Particularly, does it? Alright, we have to wait for the dialogue to finish, and then we'll say, A ruin! And then we get some artifacts. Don't be sad. Then it came back. <laughs> A fragment of canvas. It must have come from somewhere nearby. No embroidery in the cloth. Oh, I wonder where nearby is. Hmm. I didn't think there were, was anywhere nearby. Is there? Is there anywhere nearby? There's that, and that, which I would have thought we'd be too far out for. They say on Elbereth, if you sail too far, you'll meet yourself coming back. But I've sailed plenty far, and I still don't know where I'm supposed to be. Oh, we're going to get another ruin. Okay. Approach the shipwreck. Let's see what's going on with this. Earliest days of the nebula. A chart of the clouds. I think we found that before. Some drawn symbols around the surface. Ooh, writing. It's always the best part of finding stuff. Oh, we have a careful. Hi there. Uh, I've just been to Mayerzi to drop off the statue because he said that might uh, endear us to them slightly. Uh. Hmm. I don't like this. I think I've done something wrong here. No, okay. Uh, yeah, my next plan was to, to do the other thing you recommended, which was go to Elbreth and drop off the crown. Oh, we're getting the word for do. Uh, Kefla says, you won't ruin it again, will you? It was a fairly brief encounter, and he seemed fairly okay with me. He was just like, sure, it's a, it's a statue, it's impressive, you can read the text. Here, have this foil. Uh, ta-ra. As the rivers flow, so do we. Well, that's a nice sentence, very revealing. Is it very revealing? Is it just revealing because it reveals the word do? Which is one we've not managed to, like, find before? Even though we sort of had an idea that those double ticks were about verbs. Right, so what thing have we started to narrow down? I'm actually still not sure. I'm still not sure where either of these artifacts came from. Hang on. Let's trace somewhere close to Elbreth. Okay, sure. Where is this unknown moon site? And then we have the Rebesque foils made up somewhere in the reaches. On, I missed it again. So this is the, the Withering Palace. We found artifacts from here. Okay, so maybe that's where these are from. They're from that moon. Gotcha. Uh, where the hell are we going? Either river continues to our destination. Does it, you say? Okay, this is one of those meaningless choices. I could sail forever, apparently. That's what the loop believes. Would you run out of sky? Ooh. Well, there's a question. I think we decided last time that the answer was no, I would not run out of sky because we ended up bolting to pastures unknown.
Uh, okay. Let's turn right here. So that we don't have to make lots of additional choices further down the line. Ah, now I've picked up the dagger, but I haven't yet figured out that I can say Kibenia to get through the gate, have I? So I think it's going to take the dagger away from me again. Unless there's a way of preventing that from happening. Elbreth, I could show the crown to Oroi. That's why I'm here. We landed in the dust outside the great walls of Elbreth. No one looked up to watch us arrive. The people here only ever looked down. What did you expect, Six? I see little but Iox, mistress. This is not like there. Are you so sure you understand Iox? You've only just been activated. Been there ten years and I don't understand it. Okay, so we are nearly thirty. That is our age, apparently. Dirt is dirt. Alex does not have it, and Elbreth does. Wow. Rude. Dried grass, waiting to be taken inside. What's it for? Uh animals do. No. Okay, we're just going to agree with him. Try not to upset anything. Can we go up here, up this little path? Hi there. Uh, how goes things? God, this keeps us strong. Tread softly. Oh, I've got two options to click on my ship. She's a beautiful ship. I'm lucky I found her. Okay, that's literally it. I can't remember if I did go up here last time. Not think to give your ship to the curators on Iox. Ha <laughs> Uh... You think I should give the ship to Iox? Seems to me to be your job. I'm new to this, of course. Alright, Six, calm. Alex doesn't like people to have ships. They would have burned her. Your ship is no secret. Mayari knows you sail. This is true. Mayari is kind to me, although I don't know why. Oh wow, I started saying that even before she said that. <laughs> No, that's just a place up here. Oh, hello. Artifacts. Oh. <laughs> a lightweight silver knife. It hurts my eyes to try and read it. Okay, this is the start of a fragment of text. Oh no. Complicated fragment of text, no less. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh, okay, we've definitely done something wrong. We'll find out what it is shortly. Uh, yeah, must be another possibility. Rule out as for sure. 
Oh, we've got finest. Ooh, god, that's a long word. Um, right. So this is basically person who trades. So this is uh, this is old person who trades. So this is going to be merchants. Merchants finest. I don't think we've seen anything quite like this knife before. Means I think this comes from somewhere I didn't have any inkling on. Okay. Oh, six asks us what a cat kiss is, and we didn't get the chance to tell him that we don't know. It must have all been very fine ones. It seems to be decaying. Oh, hello. Another round of human. What's up? What's going on? How are the crops? Well enough. Good faith. Oh, see the people are nice here. Uh Careful. Is it a good idea for me to go and visit Timor before I head into the city proper, do you know? I was planning to sort of avoid it. Um... <laughs> Keppel says your mum is decaying, so it's... Um... Astonishing. The gate. That's the way up to the inner citadel. What else is Oroi? I have a feeling that answering this is going to be bad. Uh, Kel says, you got lucky with a nice conversation. They usually aren't because you're from Iox. Uh, let's not talk about Oroi and talk about the feet instead. Timur is called for translation. Okay, fantastic. Just because I know last time speaking to Timor is what got us into the whole like faffing around with a slave thing. Did we ever even find out what these feet were the feet of? I don't think we did, did we? Based on the mineral compositions. They may have been made in the same place. Okay. Alright, there we go. We're heading into the shady bits. The smell of the slums made me feel like a child again. It hadn't been a happy time. A simple one, at least. I just realised there's a bunch of boxes up there on the on the rock face. I'm not sure what they're doing there. <laughs> Lucky Doak. Do not touch anything. <laughs> That's good advice. Let's be nice to the robot. Watch how you drive, Six. I'll be my shell. Have you taught, taken robots to Oroi before? Uh, let's try and avoid answering that. Careful says the statue is a big can of worms. I don't fully understand it either. Oh, gosh, okay. The heart of the God's Feet slum was Timor's bar. Hi there, Timor. Or, or possibly just Timor. Alia Elazra. Once set foot inside the upper citadel. Or so he liked to play. By the turning of the waters. You're back. Uh, you should call me L. We've known each other long enough. Alia, that isn't your name. Alia means exalted, high great one. 
It's a good name. Well, does Timor mean the flatterer? Ancient light. Okay. Oh. He was the king of the dung heap. Oh, don't call him that in your narration. Are you well? Well enough. Hi there. Now then, the rules are the rules. Your friend there stays outside, so that's fair. Bye bye. I never figured out why that is a rule. Didn't argue that time. It usually argues. Uh, I don't get it, Timor. Why don't you like robots? That's the door you all like to keep giving you those things. <laughs> um, I don't ask for them. That's true. I think they don't trust me. <laughs> Mistress's work is considered most important. Oh, all right, Timor. Calm, calm. Uh, how are you doing? Are you sleeping well? Tax collectors from IELTS can't pick my pocket if I don't sleep. Um, gonna tell him he should retire. I have to take me out of here in a cloth. Oh dear. I think that might have happened last time. Oh, thanks for the drink. Um, you should let me pay for this. But it isn't true. How's the volume on this? I just realised I haven't been checking. Okay, that looks fine on OBS. Uh, he doesn't like how the robot's are always listening. Person should be free to say the wrong things sometimes. Um, Kevl says, a heckling voice from outside the door because he is listening in on conversations. I wouldn't be super happy either. Point. Anytime you want to move back to Elbereth. One day, maybe. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. He liked me. Ooh. There was some enunciation on that. Uh, do you know where I can find Oroi? Up in the cat cast. He's moved up in the world. Is she living with someone? Hard to say you know Orion. Do you ever see her? No. Oh, okay. Interesting. You two are inseparable once, and maybe they will be again. <laughs> um... Or I picked the look with the hairpin. Things that girl could do if she put her mind to it. Your friend by the door there should be afraid of her, oh dear. Um, let's talk about darkness. How many would fall across the whole nebula? Oh yeah? Did you hear that in the War Rooms of Iox? Uh, I heard it from a robot on the ruined moon, but do you know what it means? No, no I don't, okay. Darkness is a luxury for Ioxians to fear. Here we worry every night. Good news. Stuff! A scrap of sailcloth. It's from the early empire. Painted glyphs in the fabric. Oh, okay, a short one. This is frayed away. What does that mean? Oh, well, it's definitely not this. <laughs> I can add my translation for air to the dictionary. Excellent. Then we have this. 
which is a bit like air, but also has this sort of life-related symbol. I like freedom. Freedom of air. Strength of air? Is the air strong? Okay, let's try freedom of air. That will do for now. The name of the ship, perhaps. Uh. Oh, apparently the sailcloth is black. Specifically, it's been telling me. Um, where did you get it? From one of my customers. You're not the only one who sails to strange shores, you know. Now, drink up. Uh, uh... I saw something terrible out on the cyclones. An exploded boat. He died out there. It could have been you. I'm gonna say easily, even though it couldn't because I don't use rocket propellant. You'll take risks. Life is a risk. You think I should settle down? On Elbreth, open the shop! There's nothing wrong with shops! Oh, excuse me. Big yawn. Even Elbreth has leaders, you know. Uh, you'll never believe where I've been. Into the Cyclones. If you have a death wish, you come here and drink yourself into your grave like a true friend. Uh, the professor sent me. I thought I knew why, but I'm not sure. What did you find? Did you meet the gods? Did they tell you what they're playing at? Um... What, what do I answer here, careful? Do I tell him about the crown? What are we thinking? I'm inclined to tell him about the crown, to be honest. I didn't do that last time. I'm just not sure if, if it'll go badly for us with my if I tell everyone and their mother about the crown. Um, I found a crown. I still got it. I'm supposed to give it to the professor. I like it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm visiting the cactus today. He doesn't care too much about it. What does it mean, cactus? I'm not sure exactly. It's very old. Kiss is usually a word for a king or a leader. Labourers call the people who hire them at my kiss. Okay. Uh, you need to get someone to clean up. You're a cleaner, aren't you? No? I've cleaned up a little, certainly. I think this is the flirty option. <coughs> Speaking through dead people's joy. Alright, it's not quite like that. I oh. had my first taste of rocker when I was eight. I didn't pay for it that time either. <laughs> you want another one? Uh, I, wonder, I never said yes before, so yeah, I'll have another one. Apparently I've got nowhere to be. That's not entirely true, I've got to go and say hi to... Oh my gosh, we've got new dialogue options. Do you miss your children? How's the feed? No, oh blimey, okay. You never see them. They never see me. Okay. Blimey. Do you know anything about my parents? Oh my gosh. Okay. Sometimes I think if anybody would, it would be you. Ah, they are. The first I heard of you was when I asked the orphanage for grape pickers. So desperate to get out of that place. When you hid, one of the grey ladies came to get you. I remember. You kept hiring me though. 
Kevin says, I don't think I ever tried to get really drunk. I never tried to drink more than two. Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna argue with him. You're a child, Alia, that's all. Uh let's try not to break his heart. Why do you do what you do? Pick things up, dust him off, putting them in boxes. <laughs> You'll never tidy up faster than it makes a mess. <laughs> Amazing, what's the use? It's not about the things, even though the things are nice and shiny. It's about playing a video game to the internet. Otherwise, when I die, when you die, it's like it never happens, and then we don't know who we are. Not sure we do know who we are. And we need more history, not less. Not sure anyone knows who they are. Minutes, minutes, day to day. You know what you have to, what you're set up to do. That's all there's time for. Go back and say, oh, I was like that. You hope you were kind. Fair enough. Well, I don't think he's going to offer me another one, so... It's probably all good. Hi there, Six! I'm moderately tipsy. I don't think I'm full-on drunk. Although I guess I was drunk enough to ask about my parents. Um... <laughs> Careful! <laughs> it's not about the things, it's about sending a message that sets fires to the crown. Um... No, I want to see Ori. Why do people live like this? On top of each other? Well, Six, that's how you end up with more people. Some people getting on top of other people. How do I get the the cat kiss gate to accept the word Kabenya? I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my star. I squashed in. To get as much juice out of them as possible. Ooh, yummy. Tasty tasty juice. Hmm. Maybe the knife only exists to show me that I will lose it. Kev says, do you know Kibenya? Define no. Like, we, uh, we know the word Kibenya. Um, okay, I should be able to just try it, should I? It's one of the oldest things in Elgrath. It still works. I can't see the eye, mistress. The other line of sight to the eye, I can't take this inside. What is a hopper eye? We have asked this several times before. In fact, I think he's given us that exact answer before. This gate contains the hopper source. There must be a comparable gate above fitted to an eye. And you've got a hopper with you. I carry a source. Ah, okay. So I always assumed that he was using the ship's hopper. I hadn't realised that he hoppered. Um, hundreds of times. As children, we sometimes climbed down the outside of the walls. We just say the word. Uh, I'm not going to just say it. <laughs> the gate is listening. Ah. A fair point. Uh, I don't have the option to pick what word I say. Oh, okay, no, we're going to. Set by Akira Far. He is asking where you want to go. I can understand it? No, I was asking you a question. Set by Akira Far. The gate word is the name of the upper city. I think the upper city is named after the word. Cat kiss. Okay, well, 
No Cabenia for us. Bye bye, knife. Oh, hello. <laughs> that expression. Set by Akira Far. Try Cabenia. Yanihua Sale Kataliti. Alright, up we go. Wonderful. God, this his name got me through. I can't even remember how we figured out that we would try that last time. Right, let's have a look around. Because this is our second first time here. This is the main courtyard. There are alleys leading off in all directions. Easy to get lost up here. Careful says you can also send six to bring your weapons to the ship. Can you? How do you do that then? He hasn't gone long enough to leave him outside the cave, yes. Okay. This is a gate with a lost key. I'm sure one of the things Timor gave us was a key, and I never tried that gate. Hmm. Maybe if I acquire the key again. I will have to... I will have to try that. Hmm. Where are we going, mistress? There's Tappy and Oroi. They're both up here in Cactus. Alright, we've had our look round. Kevl says, after trying Katniss, talk to Six and Alia figures it out on her own, surprisingly. Oh, amazing! <laughs> to strangers, the cat kiss is like a mate. But I'd spent ten years tearing through these alleyways. way to Tappy's in the dark. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Is it significantly more difficult to find Tappy's in the dark? Tappy's place isn't big. Inside it's a treasure trove. I just realised that the reason Six stays outside is because <clears throat> he uh can't get up the stairs. Hi there! <laughs> It's you. Welcome back to Elbereth. Get back. There it is. <laughs> I confess I only really saw the robot. Friends as you know are friends. Have your no doubt precious brooch back. Mistress. Do not trust this man. It's a bit late for a warning, Six. <laughs> Twelve years too late. I already don't trust him. Uh, something like that. For sure, for sure. Come on in out of the cold. Is it cold on Elbreth? <laughs> Wait here <laughs> suspiciously. Pots and boxes, spoons and hooks and pocket knives. So good to see you back on Elbreth. The rivers above grow dull when you're not with us. And at the centre of it all was Tappy, grinning away like a skull in a bodysuit. Oh my god, what a description. Um, are you well? I'm never dull. So, Tappy. Um, I want to show you an artifact. I don't want to get into the whole slave drama just yet. Uh, I want to show you three, something else. Canvas. Ancient times period, fragment of canvas. That's certainly some phrasing. Fair if not exemplary. You will trade it for. Drumroll, please.
a wood-bound book covered in diagrams. The inside cover has been inscribed too. I think I'm kind of tempted to make the trade, to be honest. I think feel like books maybe might be things we could bring to Huang. Uh, Hurley Pilgrim and Angry. Oh, I don't like where this is going. This is taking a uh, stranger. Okay, that's fine. Hurley Pilgrim and Angry Stranger. Angry. I feel like I've seen this one before, actually. It's possible we got this book quite late on last run, maybe? The Holy Pilgrim and the Angry Stranger. Is that a fiction book? Uh, is it like a story? I don't think this can be from the same place or period as the scrap of sailcloth or the knife. But I don't think I've seen anything with this kind of paper before. That suggests this originates from somewhere we never knew existed. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll do the trade. Okay, I'm so sure that must be like a Bible story type deal. Perhaps! So, I found some other stuff. Hold on to it. I'm all out! Clean! I'll have more for you soon enough. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, toodles. It does sound like the name of a parable. But it's it seems to be a whole book. You know. You still have all your teeth. We have one new artifact to trace. Shall we leave now? Uh, no, we're going to see Ori. Why is the artist this way? But first we must navigate through the uncomfortable location. On Elbow, you could buy anything for any purpose. Hi there. Mistress? What is this lady selling? Uh, can't you tell? This is a slave market. You must have known, Six. Yep. Knowing something exists and witnessing it had different effects on my programming. Uh, but he seems bizarrely happy about that. Have you been here before, mistress? Uh, I grew up here. Now come on, let's get a move on. Workers. Can I interact with the workers directly without talking to the lady? Yes. No. Okay. She's she's ambushed us. Not lost. You look lost. You look longing. You brought a Maya Meki with you, a robot. Okay. Couple says, did we get a slave last time? Uh, yes, we did, sort of. Uh, which I wasn't terribly happy about. <laughs> have nothing to discuss. Who are you to bring a Mayameki down here? What good are the metal things to anyone? Perhaps you're hoping to start a riot. What's wrong with you? <laughs> ha! You're fearless, aren't you? I'd like you if you weren't such a Salehua. Don't you have a store to run? Was business slow today? The 
eat the failure of others. Your kind won't be happy till only the Mayameki can eat. It won't be the robots that stick a knife in your belly. Pawet Salehwa. Oh, okay. I don't know what that means, but it wasn't pleasant. I do sometimes feel like Alia is the only person in the entire setting who doesn't actually speak any agent, uh, ancient, like verbally. Because, like, people in Elbreth seem to have an idea what cactus means, and they use words like Mayameki and. Farwit Salohua and stuff. Like, it's, it really is just us. I wonder how business is going. The arms tray looks pretty empty. Stuff. Stuff and things. What do you mean you have no idea what they do? It's an axe and some bowls. <laughs> it's not that deep. This whole area is Oroz, I think. She's useful. People like to give her space. Right, let's have a little bong. <laughs> Hello, Oroz. What do we do now? Now we wait for Oroz to finish whatever she's doing. And come and see who we are. Alright, what do you want? Hi there, it's me. Oh, it's you. It's good to see you. It is, is it? Oh, I forgot that we start off on quite bad terms with Ori. You need to dump another broken robot on me? Uh. I hoped you could fix the robot. Sure. You made out like it was dented, not fried. What's wrong with this one? Oh, I could say this one has memory problems. There is nothing wrong with me. I am pristine. My role is to watch Mistress Alia's back. What do you want, Alia? Having a good day. We've been friends. Once. Oh, that hurts. Good sticking up for yourself, Six, by the way. Um. I have a crown! Would you like the crown? For your life, maybe. Um. Alright, is something wrong? What could be wrong, Alia? You woke up here after who knows how many months, so you got some great new find. What could be wrong with that picture? That's what I always do. Oh yeah. Just tell me whatever it is you wanted to tell me. Uh, Juice the ground. Look at what I found. She doesn't look terribly chuffed. What are you? Basic power source. Contacts under the rim. What is this? It's the crown of the Emperors of Iox. I think. <laughs> are you serious? You've got the crown of the Empire, you bring it to me. Um. It isn't just a crown. You want me to take it apart? Alright then. I'll take a look. I cannot believe you're just such a fine such a person. Don't be rude to Oroi! And also don't be quite so rude about Elbreth. Um She'll figure it out. Whatever it is. That crown is a treasure of the Empire. All Mistress Oroi will likely do is lose it. <laughs> oh, sure! Yeah, no, no offence! I'll let you know what I find. 
uh, ask something more. Did you ever fix the robot? No. Whatever it lost out there, it was really gone. I ended up borrowing a few internals from my collection. Um, how's your family? My son is fine. Oh, you have a son and a daughter. Oh, what happened to your daughter? daughter thinks she's in love. Is she? Uh, Kef says, I've not figured out how to be good with Laura. Last time she really, really hated me. It was not my intention at all. I figure now the crown's a key part. Um, how old is she now? I hope perfectly well how old she is. She's not old enough. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to ask you, because I think everything else will be about the foil... ...or that. Okay, let's say so look after the crown. Don't let it out of your sight. Do 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 do! Don't offer me advice on being cautious, Alia. How many robots have you lost now? Well, five. Alright. We'll come back and talk about the foil another time, perhaps, I think. Toodles, and thanks so much! Mwah mwah mwah! Uh oh, what's up? I can't walk into my house. You don't own this place, you know. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise that was going to make me try. I'm sorry. I was just speaking- oh my god, Alia. Not some ruin. Oh, okay. We gotta. We definitely gotta leave before we accidentally make her more cross. Give me a few days to dig in. I promise I won't scratch it. I was going alright until we accidentally tried to wander into her house, which I didn't even realise was a thing the game would pick up on. You think Oro can be trusted? Oh, I didn't give me the option to reply. I pushed the button and it, the prompt disappeared. I suggest we return to Iox. So we leave now. Let's get out of here. Stand still. S Bye. Okay, doke. Ah, uh, yeah. Last time we we'd already picked up the slave by the first time we spoke to Oroi, and I feel like that didn't set us off particularly well with her. Um. So this that's one of the reasons why I was too desperate to avoid it this time. Okay. Uh hi there. Are we having a conversation? No, we're just standing around. Okay, no crown. Look out the window. Hi there. What if the rivers aren't natural? We established this in the last place that they might not be. What else could they be? What if they were drawn by a painter with a brush? Ba 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 ba! Okay. Imagine a ship dragging flows behind it the way a plough drags out a furrow. A tapestry of cloud and smoke. Well springs drag the flows, mistress. Until you believe the well springs are natural. They exist in nature. Hmm. Alright. Okay. It's time to do a thing. We're an hour and a bit in. It's time to do a thing that I've never, ever, ever done before, and it's not ready the chocks. <laughs> oh, I'm actually going to be just one sec because I can hear some sort of weird noise and I don't like the noise I can hear so I'll be back in just a sec
All right, I'm back. Uh, it's fine. It was a false alarm. It was simply the next door neighbor using what I assume is a power washer sub description. Uh, anyway, exciting times. We're going to click the button for Iox and plot a course there. I don't know how she'll take it. So show her the crown if I ever get it back from Ori. Okay, off we go. Oh, I need to. Uh... Tab out so I can set things up properly so things don't stutter. Eagle's Pass, sail, sailing to Iox in Ioxian space. Take either route. Which one do we want? Uh, not that one. Wow, Iox. I know, right? <laughs> that place that I like never, ever, ever went to. What did you call your first robot mistress? That's an excellent and insightful question. Presumably you did not call it one. <laughs> you're not wrong, careful, you're not wrong. Unless you're already planning your robocidal spree. Oh, are we in slow bit? I don't like slow bits. I gave it a name. <laughs> Undiscovered for whole playthroughs. Called it Talion. Uh, there's a girl's name on Elbereth? So what? Okay. I can't imagine having a name. You do have a name! It's six! I can't imagine it would matter, and yet I believe I feel the lack. I'm actually going to go slightly the wrong way. Just so that I make sure I get all of this dialogue, because I've never never read this before. Hmm. Would you like a different name? Has the dialogue now immediately stopped as soon as I've done that? Because that would be so typical. I was just like, I'll do it like a little, a tiny little extra loop. They say on Iox that the rivers flow with the souls of the dead. Anything to scare you to the ground? Can I do the little loop again? It's fine. Give me the chance to, to, to do that reply option. I don't think I'm going to. I think I missed my chance now. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. Alright, fine. Have it your way, game. Disregard the next turning, mistress. What, just sail off into space? I'm sort of vaguely surprised this isn't... Oh my god, look at that! That's so pretty! There's like a sky out there! There's like a sky sky! Behind the clouds! Oh, I didn't check which way we were going, but luckily we ended up going the right way. Because <laughs> I've never been to Iox, I don't think I've ever sailed around like these particular rivers very much. <laughs> so this is all new to me. Well springs six. Okay. The air they pour out, the air we breathe, where does it come from? Where do any of us come from, mistress? Where did I come from? The dirt. came from a hole in the ground on Iox. Carl says, yeah, it looks a little bit like a regular old sky. Well, it's just nebula gases, I'm sure. Hmm. <laughs> We're discussing whether six grew out of the ground. Set us down. All right. Iox. Our first ever landing on Iox. University. We should tell the professor what happened to Duremba. Oh, I do beg your pardon. We 
we should also see if our friend Huang is about. Oh, and then there's the tree of being a big tree. Look at this place, six. It looks modern, but it's ancient. Let's avoid expressing too much of an opinion on Iox. Here and there, bits of the architecture go back thousands of years. I don't really know where I can and can't walk. Oh, big pardon. I also actually don't know where Huang is, because last time he was out in the courtyard. Mistress, exactly how many robots have you lost? Oh dear. I would like to talk about it, but I do not have that option, Six. I am incapable of telling you. Hi there. Tell me, are you still wasting your time on your curious notions of history? Uh, what's so curious? Well now, your ideas are hardly wholesome. All that death and decay. You should devote yourself to a real science, like metallics, loop philosophy. Um, there's a 2,000 year old statue on the Yersi. Uh oh, did you know that? Uh... What a strange thing to say. Good faith you, Alia. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but it did end the conversation. I really hate her. Understandable, mistress. Oh, okay, interesting. Right, and then we've got a sort of a sun daddy type thing. Did you know it's the oldest thing on Iox? And we've seen one of them somewhere else. But I can't quite remember. Was it on the market moon we saw one of these? Curiously enough. Why is that curious? Seems to me the sundial could never have worked, mistress. At least not in this location. No light? I suspect her position this here did not realise how it was intended to function. So how do you know how the sundial is meant to work? It's apparent from the design. A child could comprehend it. Oh, you're starting to sound like a Mayersian now, Six. Also, do suns actually exist? <clears throat> For there to be sundials? Like, I can't say I've ever seen one. Uh, right, there's writing. Writing that we never got last time. Oh my god, and it's pretty tough writing. Although, actually, it looks like that's just the word empires, which is most of it already. Empire's Light, uh, provides I don't think I have the next one. So is there a U here or something? Uh, here. Hmm. Empires. Wait, hang on. Where'd light go? Here. Empires light. So this section is here. No. This, no, no, it's not. This is heals, shines. This section is provides and then light. So I guess shines provides light. <clears throat> Empire's light shines here. I think that's correct. I wonder if anyone knew that was there. Maybe the sundial isn't a timepiece at all. It could be a tombstone. Maybe there's an ancient king underneath it. I know, Six. People have already looked. Hmm. 
it's ancient. Old and all the buildings here. Hmm. Okay. Just gonna attempt to buy her before I leave. Okay, so that's the way out. Right, we don't need the way out. I don't know where it's gonna hijack me to. <laughs> it, might, it might hijack me quite far. Ah, hello, random stranger. Uh, did she send you to fetch me? Of course not. You're not so very important. Travel safely, Alia. Okay, well, thanks, random stranger. Uh, I gotta take a drink, because my throat is dying. Alright, back. Mari should be up in her office. He also says the symbol for the university on the flag is also interesting you might recognize it. But I also might not recognize it. Um, it looks sort of vaguely like one of the letters that I've seen, but I don't know that, uh... Okay, it used to be fertile, but they're all dry now. Okay, interesting. Suppose they cut down all the trees to make chairs. Or boats. Uh, no, I don't think I do recognise that symbol. Although, I'm assuming that I should recognise it based on the fact that you pointed it out to me. Oh, can I eject again? Right, Mayari is up there. Is that Huang? In there? I don't know, maybe not. I've got to find him somewhere, it'll come to me. I suppose it looks like the sculpture. Uh... I missed what, what what that... She said something about one and a half thousand years ago, and I don't know what she was talking about. Oh, I've been hijacked. No, you're not Huang. Is there a way to go through here? Ah, oh, the library! I guess that's where Huang lives. Uh, we'll speak to Huang after we've spoken to the professor. She seems like the type who uh, maybe wants us to see her as soon as possible. Is there anything we can do with the sculpture? Interact with that? No. Alia, hi there. Good faith to you. Hello? No, you just wanted to say my name. Okay, fine. I wonder if I could have gone to the library when I was here at the very start of the game and I just missed it. Okay. That symbol. What am I supposed to be thinking of that symbol? Hmm. Lara's office. Hi there, Professor. We've barely spoken before. Alia, you're back. Don't know if I want to ask what you found. Um... Maybe you don't, Professor. It's not good news. Not a child, just tell me what you saw. Um... <clears throat> He's dead, Professor. Uh, we have lots of options of lying to him. To her, even, which is interesting. His ship blew up to so try to leave an off river moon. Uh, let six answer. We are quite certain, Professor. Do you go anywhere except Mayor Z? Uh, Rambo went exploring off the rivers. He was using fuel to propel himself. No doubt something went wrong and the ship blew up. No doubt. We didn't actually answer the question. 
I am prepared to be investigating an abandoned hermitage. And you followed him, what did you find there? Uh... Hmm... Do I want to tell her about the message? I said it was going to be toady time! So sure, let's tell her about the message. Remember left us a message. Mistress? Go on. The hopper malfunctioned. Uh... And then there was a robot. It spoke to me. I fear my mistress is now dissembling, Professor, though to what end I... Quiet. He said... Uh, the robot told me to find an observatory. That seems like a neutral option that won't upset her. I don't recall this. Interesting. Okay. Stromer's doing of course. Perhaps he found a way to leave a message. Um... We found a dagger, Holy Empire period. A nice find, the university will hopefully be interested. Okay, never mind, I wouldn't risk your life for that. Nothing else, nothing more. There was the crown, of course, but I don't have it on me. I'm afraid Mr. Sally passed it on to a contact in Elbereth. I just assumed you made a little on the side, but... Uh, I didn't sell it. My friend's a mechanist, she's just looking at it. So you're going to bring it back to me. I'm going to fetch it. Look forward to seeing it. Off you go. Understood. Can I speak to her some more or will that make her cross? Uh... Oh. To be here to speak to her. Hang on, there we go. Is there anything else I can do for you? Please, Alia, go away. Oh, alright. Jeebus. She's a really unpleasant person. Oh, one last thing. Tell me honestly how are you finding your new companion? Are you working well together? I she'll get over it. I'll lose this one too. I wouldn't say that, or it's only a robot. What? Why? Why can't I say yes? Because I feel like we are. I feel like I've been doing pretty okay with six this run. Um, I guess it's only a robot. Robots are valuable things, Alia. I want to know immediately if anything happens to this one. I hope that's clear. Clear. Glad to hear it. Time to depart, mistress. We've still more to do. We've got to go see Huang. The robot I met on the hideout moon six, it said something else strange. It said a great darkness was coming. What did it mean? What do you think? Master Ember did not lose his life out there without some cause. Hmm. Okay, to the library. The library! The library. Is a quiet spot to think, except when Huang's <laughs> course, he always is. Oh, it's not much of a library, is it? Let's be honest. It's more like one person's office. But okay, we'll 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 stretch to calling this a library, I guess. Have you found any artifacts you want me to look at? Quite a few. Many. Uh. Something else. Something else? Something else. Something else? 
Something else. Something else. Oh, okay. I can't show him the book that I picked up from Tappies, I guess. So is he interested in, in items the same way Tappies, then? Shall I write on little? Tiny. Oh, okay, he checks off language for us. I'm glad you agree. Interesting. I've seen something a bit like that that was also inscribed. Let me see now. Keffel says this is really, really good if there was a text you couldn't translate yet. He takes any item at all. Okay. Does he take the item? Like, as in, remove it from my inventory, take it. Just say no. Okay. Don't let him bring it to the creators, just say no. May I ask what happens if I do let him bring it to the creators? So we've got metal and a new word. Precious? Precious metal? I like precious metal. Uh, do you have any more like that? Let me see. How about this? A sketch of a coin. Found in the market a few months ago. Oh my god, so much text. God, this guy's a f if he has two bits of writing for every artifact we bring him, that's loads. Uh Oh my god, I don't know where to begin. Right, let's start with a B. Uh the looks. Not so sure if this is going to be a word then, or if this is going to attach to the front of looks, possibly. Uh, Careful says there's no real downside or upside to giving the item to creators except losing the item, but. Nothing and take it means he'll be gone for an infuriating long amount. Until you can show him a second item. I see. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> um, oh, this is actually beloved. Oh. I really don't know about these little, in air quotes, words here. They seem very funky. What have we got? We've got little. Hold. Right, I've definitely done something wrong. Okay, it's not that. Okay, it's B that is... No, it's looks that is incorrect. B... Okay, we'll take out B. Beloved... Things... Ah, I've got a those that I didn't notice. Though well, actually, I kind of like... Little things you hold instead of little those. But we'll see. Yeah, little things you hold. Um, although, I don't know what it wants on the front here. Uh, I 
I can shove a do in, but that's not going to be right. Okay. Where are we getting it wrong? Oh, we're crossing off Beloved. Okay. Oh my god, that's one word. Okay, Jeebus. Alright, uh, we can check off things, that's fine. Okay, so this ends in Beloved, and it's got, like, look? And I'm not sure what this bit on the front of something means yet. Be content. Or be grateful. Either would make sense here, and I don't know, I think grateful is probably more likely, because it's got this like love element on in it. Be grateful for what little things you hold. Oh my god, do we have more? No, okay, fantastic. Do you want me to archive the coin? No, I'm not finished with it. Uh, let's talk to Huang. Listen, Huang. Have you ever heard the word Sliset before? I am... Oh! Jeebus! Okay! <laughs> it didn't do that when, when Mayari said it! <laughs> Uh, 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 but Alia, what's wrong with your robot? I think I accidentally turned him off. <laughs> oh no. Uh, six? It must be getting old. Oh, he's back. Hi there. Mistress, my head. Uh, okay, are we not just gonna speak to Six about that at all? No, we're just gonna let that slide? Really? Really? <laughs> um, do you know anything about an observatory, I guess? An observatory? That's interesting. Let me tell you something I heard about Renaki. You've mentioned it before. I have? Well, alright then. I was on Renaki recently. I know, me on the boat, you should have seen me. I turned green. What did you do that for? I've got my secrets, Alia. Okay, the curators let me take a few things and trade. On the boat, there was a trader called Amadu. On the boat, there was a trader called Amadu. He was talking about something he found. He called it, well... You asked me about an observatory. That's what Amadu said he's found. I'm looking for a particular observatory. Not just any observatory. Oh, well. This one sounded like it was old. I thought of you. So you've met Amadu. You are on Renaki. Interesting. And Amadu was not on... Uh, Renaki. Which is even more interesting. We think back to the first empress or so. Read anything good? They've been indexing mostly. Show him a text. I discovered a book. Oh yeah, I did. I wanted specifically to show you this actually. Read it as read this book and laugh until you weep. Oh, I found that. I remember that specifically. <laughs> 
I remember read this and laugh until you leave. Uh, oh my gosh. Are we going to be here for quite a while? Just showing him everything. Dagger. Description reads, the army demands your loyalty. I think you're right. The nicely made blade. Also uses for hurting them. I thought that as well. The hilt is too hard to hold firm. Uh, I found it above a door frame. As though it had been hidden close to hand. The sort of thing you'd give a child. I don't think I would give it to a child. For one thing, it being a dagger. And for another thing, I don't think a child would hide it on top of a door where they couldn't reach it. Oh yeah, I can't help but notice. You seem to keep back a lot of things. Things that belong here in the university. Where they will be safe. Um, they're important for my research. <clears throat> well, some of them are. They aren't artifacts, they're objects. They have purposes, places, histories. I need them to understand a nebula. Okay. Sorry to, you know... Show him another artifact. Uh, a pen! Have you seen anything like this pen? Yes, I've seen pens before. I may even have written with them. It's entirely possible. Okay. Poor old six, he doesn't look well. Uh, are we... hello? Okay. <laughs> we had to, to wait a sec. It was a scratch stylus. While excavating the university foundations here on Iox. Okay. In your predecessor's day. What position do you hold, Wang? Are you like a librarian? Are you some specific kind of researcher? Uh, something my tails. That isn't the word for tails. Okay. So what does this say? Okay, it could be words. Words was uh, an equally good option. Illuminate my words? Uh, it is a verb, and it's got light in it. So, illuminate my words. Do you have any more like it? How about this? This is the inscription found on a chipped silver pen. It was found in a Renaki house several years ago. When you say found in a Renaki house... How exactly did you do the finding in somebody's house? Leave your something. Oh wow, he's excellent for getting words. I suppose that's kind of his job, really. Oh my god, I've got no idea what this is, though. Leave your soul? Mark? I like Mark. Anything else? Uh, no. I'm assuming not. Okay. Creators will be most interested in the pen, I'm sure. I'm not finished with it. I'd best get on with some work myself now. Oh, don't do that. I, I need to speak to you some more. I have more things to, to ask you about. He's not interested. Uh, there was something up here. Books on all topics. Uh, I make the time, I suppose. Okay, is that it? Is he following us? I thought you just said you had work to do, Wang. Okay. Well, I guess we're heading out. Is there any way of us asking Six about what happened? Uh, sure, I guess. Let's get out of here. Like, Six, Six, are you okay? 
<laughs> I accidentally turned you off, I think. <gasps> oh, actually, though, the ability to turn six off when I don't want him to see something is definitely interesting. I could see that coming in handy in the future. That feels real bad to say, seeing as we're trying to do a Befriend 6 run. Um, let's have a look at the nebula. Hi there. Can you say all six? Do you know how? Yes. That's why we've had the option to sail, have him sail before. Whoever carries us forward, it's only a question of using the sails to adjust. So easy? Indeed. Alright, well let's go do some easy sailing. Uh, I think we're headed back to Elbreth to go pick up the crown. Ooh, okay, so we now have the option to go to Anaki. Ooh, interesting. This is so different from, from before. Elbreth. Plot course. She's looking at the crown right now, unless she sold it on straight away to cover old debts. We're going to assume she hasn't done that. And if she has, we're going to panic. Oh. I've got some moss growing on my window. Uh, and I think it's it's doing something weird. It's got orange bits on it, which might be like spores or something. You obviously can't see this. I'm just whispering to myself uh, at this point. Alex in space sailing to Elbreth. Okie doke. Our route goes right, mistress, but we should go left. Must we return to Elbreth, mistress? Well, yeah, we were explicitly told to go fetch the crown. You dislike the place. Well, that's fine, it dislikes you too. Uh, no, it actually does dislike you too. That's what the slave lady said. What's wrong with Elbreth? You can't even spell it. It is the suffering, mistress. My ethical core finds it upsetting. I'd rather not see it. I, I can try and turn you off if you like. Would that make you feel better? The robot you claim to have encountered the Hubble Mark on your mistress. It occurs to me it might have been a recording. was Remba. Somehow. Messages such as the professor sends you are not live connections. The professor sends me messages? They are recorded personality states. Okay. Right. As am I, mistress. Well, that's definitely not foreshadowing anything. Uh, <laughs> there must be a robust phone nearby. Cuts to resonate on the hopper's frequency. Okay. In short, for whatever reason, Remember went to a lot of trouble to speak to the mistress. Hmm. Okay, so these are questions that I had last time about how the actual like messaging thing worked that I didn't get answers to before because I guess I didn't go to IOX. Because uh, I, I sort of assumed that the game would eventually force me to IOX and then it just didn't. <laughs> uh, or I should have had a chance to look into the crowd by now. I blimey well hope so.
Uh, but let's go speak to Timor first, because that's usually worth doing. Have you sailed before, Six? I don't know. When I connect to the winches aboard the ship, they do seem to fit. Oh, so you connect to them. I did wonder how you did things without proper hands. Rude! Oh my god, Alia! Stop being rude! <laughs> um, I think someone ordered me to stand still while they poured the cement around me. Oh, hello. We've been ambushed by a random stranger. Farawet, walk with the goddess. Or die on Ajax, I don't care. That seemed quite rude. Once you've left, no one allows you to return. Yeah. Uh, Keffel says, the recording of mental states is a good info on how the random thing works. I see. So did he record his mental state onto Six before, like, he left? Oh, hello. The sound of a thousand people packed up like a box of oranges. Oh, the box of oranges is going to be important later as well. <laughs> right. Hi, Timor. I'm back again. I know I wasn't gone for very long. Oh, I forgot that we get like a, a scare call every time we enter this place. Alia, you're back! I always come back. One day I'll put up a sign in my bar. Alia and Lazaro drank Raki here. Yeah. Sometimes she even paid her tab. Uh, Alright, Toodle Six. Okay, so now I can turn him off. Potentially, if I want to discuss, like, having a revolution. You well, Timor? Stronger than ever. The place is empty. There's no one here. That's not true, you're here. Well, some people. Drink! Your generosity will be the end of you. Everything's paid back in the end. Okay, we can't speak to him yet. Have a sip. See if he has anything for us. Ah, present! I love presents! Give me all the things. I guess it was a shattered wax tablet, stating from at least the early days of the Empire. On the edge is an inscription. This one is a fractured fragment from an even longer phrase. Okay, look. Uh, we've got maybe slaves, or maybe mechanical. Slaves will us all. I think slaves must be right. Okay, good. This could be free, perhaps. No, okay. Slaves? Hmm. See this? This is at the end of army. Many people of kill is an army, I guess? If I want to put kill in there? That's a very ominous thing to find written on a tablet. Slaves will kill us all. Right, okay, we're narrowing down. Just help us locate an unknown moon. Uh, what do I owe you? Nothing. Just don't stop stopping by. Okay. More alcohol. Timor just watched me. You want another Aki? Uh... What happens if I say this? You're trying to get me drunk. You're a smart lady. You can get yourself drunk. <laughs> sure. Let's just down them until... So the robot won't miss me. Okay, you should relax more. Glug. Glug. Okay, well... I guess that's it.
the alcoholic playthrough. Well, I guess this is what I have to do to get through with toadying up to my Ari. This, this is what it takes. Alright, Six, come on then. Later, Timor. <clears throat> come on, Six. We have one new artifact to drink. Should we leave now, Mistress? What the hell do you bloody think, Six? <laughs> we came here to get the crown. Do we have the crown? If the answer to this question is no, then you don't need to ask the other one. Uh, oh, she looks so menacing stomping through the, the slums like that. Oh, he's asking about the agriculture of this place. And I guess he didn't get a response. Look. Barely anything grows here. There we go. We rely on Iox, like everyone else. <clears throat> Although you don't actually rely on Iox. You rely on the places that Iox takes food from, right? You rely on, like, Myerzy and places like that. Because we just were on Iox and they don't like, grow anything there. There are ancient symbols here. I used to trace them out when I was a girl. This is two words, not one. Where does one word end and the next start? Uh, okay, what have we got? Mystery. My translation mystery has to be wrong. Okay, that's fine. Let's try something. So I think this is pilgrims. On the count of this is pilgrim. Gate. I guess gate makes sense. It, it moves you upwards, and that's what this gate does. Pilgrim's gate. And it responds <clears throat> to... Uh, Tell me that. Yeah, but it's a name, Alia. Set Boyak Yurafar. Gabenya. Anyhua Salek Taliti. The 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 spoken aloud ancient is something else altogether to the written down ancient that I don't have any sort of a handle on. <laughs> Thanks for the observation, Six. Right, we're going to go see Tappy again. Uh, it turned out Huang wasn't that interested in the book, so I guess we won't bother trading too many other things, perhaps. Six wants to know what the city was meant to be. I mean, Defensible? I guess? If the gate is called Pilgrim's Gate, <clears throat> then I guess it was like a holy site of some description? Like, why would you pilgrimage here? Or actually... Oh, gold and shut up. Glass. Hi there. Ah, oh, you don't visit me nearly enough. I forgot the colour of your eyes. Ooh, okay. Flirt option. You had me for a moment there. How is life on Iox? As sterile as ever. Iox never changes. Why would it? That dog doesn't need to roll over. It's because you need to come back and see us mongrels all the same, oh dear. That's not quite what I was going for. Um. Yeah, if it's Pilgrim's Gate, maybe they're not pilgrimaging up to the city? Maybe they're pilgrimaging to all the different planets that that hopper connects to, right? You ha oh, hello. You, I could probably adjust it a bit. Can you get rid of the ethical core? I mean, I'll ask. These things run off their cores. I'm told you can swap them out fairly easily. Who told you that? 
a mutual friend, so alright. Bear it in mind, Alia. Okay. Happy to get his butt, is he? Okay. Um. Who buys all this stuff of yours? Respect the people. And the few Elbreth rats do. Uh, but this stuff is all worthless. So why do you collect it? Good point. Um. Careful says, as much as six annoys me, making him a servo is not an improvement. Is that an actual option that I can have to just straight up decor him? Normal ones with hearts made of meat and blood? Well, rude. I like to look at it and dream. Okay. Uh, I want to show you an artifact. No, no, okay, that isn't an option. The game would feel very boring, I think, if I didn't have six to bounce off of. This is a shattered tablet of wax with a really ominous inscription. Like an unbelievably ominous inscription. Actually, you know who you should sell the wax tablet to? You should sell it to that slaver lady. Hang it around her neck. Uh, what have you got for me? An iron goblet carved with the outline of a claw. The inside is heavily stained. Must have belonged to a heavy drinker. Something etched in it. You're selling me a, like a stained mug? Ew. Gross. So this, this, is the symbol that I thought the university's logo reminded me of. Which does, I guess, maybe slightly make sense in that it's found in the word for truth. But it's also found in lots of weird words that I don't necessarily know how it got there. Uh, oh, we... Wow. We've not got a lot to go on for this phrase. Oh, this is not with, this is, this is my, hang on. Kel says it's a symbol for true, a very fitting one for university. Maybe a slightly less fitting one for university on Iox, uh, that's obsessed with loop, but hey-ho. What the hell do we have here? Uh, careful says, in reality, the loop philosophy couldn't be further from true, that's another story. Yeah, <laughs> we came to the same conclusion independently. I like share, because this is like... Verb, move, or, or, or things related to that, to many. Share. Share my truth. It also fits as like a... Inscription, although I'm not sure why that inscription would be on a goblet. Help us find where to look for an unknown moon. Uh, no, I've got more things to show you. Right, I've picked up a few more items. Like this scrap of sailcloth, which is definitely junk. There's absolutely no way you want this. It's possible, no matter, I could probably shift it. Who will buy that? Who will buy that? God, I wish this animation wasn't so long, considering how many times you have to do it. A carved metal chest. On the side, some words. There's a few words in this one. Okay. Uh, with this thing, <laughs> we are. <laughs> I think those aren't the symbols for thing at all. Thing would be very <laughs> uh, suspect in this case. With this ring, perhaps? It's a, an object that that circles a person, I guess. Ring, sure. Fine. 
with this ring, we are wed. It's the only verb, and this is a verb. And also, you know, it's a ring and, and marriage and stuff. This is the inscription on a chest. Oh, I suppose it was. It's like a, a ring box. That's cool. It's like this comes from the same source as lots of other places. If you've seen the merchandise, the chest for your black scrap of sailcloth. Honestly, that's a really good trade, but I'm not going to go for it because I want to show you more stuff. Show him another artifact. Uh, have a look at the knife. It's a lightweight silver knife dating from at least the earliest days of the Empire. Your standards are slipping. You don't like the knife? Although I actually do sort of wonder if his dialogue in response to what I show him is actually anything to do with what like what I offer him at all or if it's just random ra random from a list strike hard strike hard Nope, no trades. Thank you for see it, but no, something else perhaps. Do do do. Uh, Kel says he does like guns, so showing him a cool telescope is certainly different from an old statue he might refuse. Oh, okay. Doesn't make any difference otherwise. Gotcha. Uh, have a look at this chart. Nice enough. I could probably shift it. A beautiful, unique piece. And he wants to swap it for a golden pipe decorated with a leaf motif. Oh my god, it's. Oh! I've seen the markings before on the side of my ship. Interesting. Why? Is a weed smoker's pipe the same as <laughs> the same as the markings on my ship? Thing of liberate. Uh, start again and try it a different way. Okay, liberate isn't correct. So what do we think this is? Called? Uh, oh, given that we know this is eagle, this might be songbird, perhaps. Song of songbird. Well, this is in that, so sure, song of songbird. <clears throat> That's the ancient for nightingale. It's written on the ship's wings. I see, okay. But why is it on a weed smoker's pipe? Um... And what relationship does it have to my... to my ship? Also, wait. I just said it's the Ancient for Nightingale. Does that mean that I... Does that mean that I knew what those words meant when I called my boat the Nightingale? Or did I not name the Nightingale the Nightingale? Was it just already called the Nightingale? That raises a lot more questions than it answers. She didn't name Nightingale, you got it. Interesting. But she didn't know what the ancient for Nightingale was until just now. Oh, apparently he really dislikes coins. I missed that. Uh, she might talk about that at some point. Interesting, interesting. 
I also realized actually that I am I, I legitimately wasn't lying to Huang when I said that I need them for my further research because I actually do because I need them to show to Tappy <laughs> that's why he can't take them uh, when winds move into line cool Kel says yeah the fact it's not dictionary is a silly oversight okay that's just a that's just like gameplay and story segregation Device for watching the winds and flows of the rivers. It's valuable, especially if you didn't have a robot. Do I want that? That sounds useful. I don't think the coin is very useful. I've never seen an ancient vending machine. Sure. I thought you just said you didn't like coins. Take me some time to sell buyers what you've given me, so anything more, let me look another time. Uh, okay. Doodles happy. Don't be a stranger. Hi Six, I know you're gonna ask me if you wanna leave. You have discovered enough to exactly locate one new location of note on our own moon. We've also learned of one new location of pre-empire site. Shall we leave now, mistress? I want to pay a visit to Ori, but also I want to see what you mean when you say exactly locate. Because we've never exactly located something before. Oh, we're in the slave place again. Oh, no. oh hang on. No? Okay. Is that it? Sure. So where have we exactly located them? This doesn't look very exact to me. But I'll take your word for it. Oh, no, no. Which on the moon is this? Is this the launch pad? No, I thought the launch pad was over there somewhere. Hmm. I like how this place is called. Hang on. Shut up. Oh, I'm here. <clears throat> I like how this place is called Sculptor's Canyon, and we didn't know that the statues would come from there. Like, come on, Alia. Get it together. Do you believe the workers are well treated, Mistress? Some will be. Not all. I don't know that she has a slave who has the information for me, so I wonder what happens if I do speak to that woman a bit more. Maybe I'll try that on the way out. Ding dong. I hope your friend is still here, mistress. I also have another question, which is... Previously, I've always had to strike the gong twice to make Ori appear. But like... Can I just wait? Oh, maybe I can just wait. Hi there. Good, quickly, come in. That thing you brought in. What did you make of it? First things first. Where did you find it? How? Uh, from a moon in the eye of the cyclones. Kevin says he always struck it twice, impatient little turtle. Well, I tried waiting and then nothing ever happened. But maybe I just didn't wait long enough. Am I mad? That's not the point. <laughs> then it should be the point. I've lost you once to Iox. I don't want to lose you again. Aww. I'm alright. It's okay, I'm here. I promise. Oh yeah, sometimes I just think... You need to get yourself a real life. So? 
What did you make of it? Did you ever hear of the Great Forge? Mean used in the early Empire for crafting complex devices. Never seen anything so obviously made there before. This forge. Is it real? Not just a myth? It must have been real and huge. Employing hundreds, maybe thousands of people. Where? I have no idea, that's fair. I don't know why you would. Did you find out what the crown does? No, okay. I have no idea. I didn't try to turn it on. But you could. Are you serious? It's hundreds of years old. Perhaps if I knew what it was powered by. If I put the wrong amount of flow through it, I'll smoke the foil. I don't think we'd stay friends. Okay, so... Last time, we were not very brave, and we didn't try fiddling with the crown. I think this time I want to try fiddling with the crown, and the same way I want to try fiddling with six, but I know that I don't want to upset Oroi. Careful says, don't fiddle. If I fiddle, will I upset Oroi, or will I upset Mayari, or what's the, what's the consequence for fiddling? I'm, I'm, if you say don't fiddle, I'm happy to not fiddle, but I want to know what would have happened. Both Mayari and Oroi will be angry. Okay. Uh, thanks. Bad stuff happens. Okay. Do you want it back or what? I better had. I've got someone back on Ajax waiting for it. Honestly, I'd rather it wasn't here. Bad stuff happens. More important, she can't fiddle. Interesting. She'll be interrupted anyway. Oh. 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 Now that really is interesting. Ha. Huh. Hmm. That really, really is interesting. Hi there, Oroi. Uh, I've got something else I want to show you. Uh, I found this. A reverse foil hidden there by someone. You can't get much from a file on its own, they all work in different ways, depending on how well they were made. Can you tell where this one was made? No. You're the archaeologist. Yeah, it's quite something. Too delicate for empire work. Ancient or made in an ancient way? In the empire they carved these things by hand. They were useless. Okay. Careful says, only if we keep the crown secret. Will she have peace and quiet to fiddle? Okay, so if we if we don't tell Mayari about it, then she can fiddle. If we don't tell Mayari about the crown, and we let Oroi fiddle, does then Mayari and Oroi not get angry? If we don't tell six, oh, of course, okay, gotcha. How do you think they made so many robots? Good point. Empire Falls can barely store a picture. How's the shop? Slow enough. Not getting any worse. Oh well. Toodles. Bye, Oroi. Interesting. Okay. Ah, gotcha. Maybe I'm gonna have to do a third playthrough of this at some point. Like a real sneaky boy playthrough. See if I can actually start a revolution against Iox. <laughs> Shall we leave now, mistress? Uh, not just yet. I want to go and harass this woman because she's not a very nice person. I also want to know what far what something something means. Why don't they escape? Don't be so disgusting. They aren't captives. Besides, where would they go? Alright, well, bye. Uh, I 
lost. Oh, don't talk about the robots. Three. That was its name. One minute is with me, the next. <laughs> I will be vigilant, mistress. Uh, I don't really want to say either of those. I despise this moon. That's fair. For some reason, there's no word for going down. Waste receptacles slash outwards. Wow! Jesus, six. You gotta calm it down a bit, you know? Just like relax on Elbereth, okay? I missed the chance to say something. Time to leave. Come on, Six. Off we go. And so we left the surface of Elbreath. Now we do have, as it said, enough uh, evidence to find a new moon, but we're not going there, we're going back to Ireland. Uh Keppel says, I don't like seeing these poor, innocent, poor, poor, dirty, disgusting, filthy creatures suffer. That's why I dislike this moon. Not because they are filthy rats. Wow. <laughs> You're not wrong, I suppose, about, about how Six feels. Um... Although I guess I, I partly wonder how much of the original robot... Oh, we're receiving a message! Oh, this has never happened before! Okay, put her through! I was not awaiting permission. Hi there! Where are you? What do you want, Professor? This isn't a social call. I wanted to let you know we're having a celebration for Rember here at the University. You don't have to attend, but I thought I'd let you know. You want me to come? I think it might be good for your soul. I think your soul needs all the help it can get. Thanks, Professor. Come home, Alia, right away. That's all she sent. I mean, that's... I was going to do that anyway. What inscription? What inscription? I can't keep this from my Ari much longer. I'm not keeping it from my Ari! I'm taking it back to her! Right now! That's the point! What inscription? Where did I find an inscription? What's it talking about? I'm gonna look out the window. Hmm. Girl says it's a bit of an Ilox overdose, but let's go to the funeral. Uh, is there only so much Iodox you can take in one stream, Keffel? Um, I did feel like this a little bit at the end of the last run, where I was constantly like stopping by Elbreth to make sure that I got big pardon all of my uh, all of my um, artifacts checked off in time. Because says the ship with all the items we collect is so neat. Every game needs to do that if they have like a hub type of thing. It's definitely it definitely works well for for what we're doing here. In this, see the fire poke, the tag with the crown, the statue, etc., etc. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's a nice reminder. Although last playthrough, we ended up with something on the ship that I didn't actually pick up. It was a thing that Tappy showed us that I decided not to trade for. Which was a little awkward. <clears throat> it's like a little trophy showcase. Right. Do -do -do. We are sailing. We are sailing. Oh my god, where's the camera gone? What did you do that for? You daft thing. Did you get the little golden globe thingy from Tappy? Well, that's the thing, is is no I didn't. <laughs> but it showed up in my boat anyway. 
<laughs> I think the game was very confused. All the rivers of the nebula flow to Iox in the end. Is that true? If you tie off your sail, Iox is where you'll wash up. Is that true? Are you sure? The nebula. Or else, it's the gutter. Are you sure about that? <laughs> We've seen lots of things drifting out in the nebula that haven't made their way to Iox. Lots of them. Uh, Kelsus, he does give you that for free. Maybe it was lost in the dialogue. He's just like, take it anyway. I suppose that's possible that I missed that. Obviously, I, I don't remember it. I just remember being like, huh, I've got this globe. I'm not supposed to have this globe. That is such a nice view, and it's weird because, like, there's nothing exciting or special about the assets involved, you know? Like, it's just some clouds and some floating rocks, and the rocks themselves aren't even very pretty on their own. But somehow you put it all together with the, the glowy red and the dramatic lighting down there, and it's just... Huh. in space. Are we near Iox? There we go. I suppose that sort of misshapen lump is supposed to be Iox. The university. Remember's funeral is about to start. Oh, they're gonna... Well, they can't really set fire to him, can they? Because he's not here. What do you think, Six? I believe they are just beginning, Mistress. We're not too late, then. I believe our timing to be perfect! Hi there, Huang! Alia, quickly! Cool, we'll run. Or, or jog, lightly, maybe? No, we're just going to walk at the, at the walking pace. We weren't sure you really were coming. Why is she waiting for me? Honestly? She worries about your soul. She mentioned that. There's nothing wrong with my soul. Because it's safe in a box somewhere. <laughs> God damn it. Shall we go down? Lead the way. Oh, okay. Uh. Bye. I don't know which of these is the more polite option, to be honest. Bye, Six. I'm not sure why you're not coming. Janiki was a great believer in the Great Loop. Um, do you believe it, Huang? Of course. Kevin says, typical, typical cult behaviour. Everyone outside is obviously sick and misguided. I should have picked Try Not To Rust. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was trying not to upset Six. Six replies, I will look myself clean. That's adorable. Oh my god. Friends, colleagues, brothers and sisters. Oh, so she's upset about me being like an atheist. Oh, I hadn't quite put that together. That the that was what the soul problem was. Uh, just stand quietly. Hold the space. Yeah. Six is best I can remember. I'm so sorry. He was our friend, uh, our brother. Teacher of some confident brother's inspiration. He lost us too soon. We trust he'll be returned. Oh, I can ask things, I guess. It's my eye looking at it. Over by the water, there's an hourglass. Why? Oh, hey there, Boom Boom. Welcome. We're at a funeral for the guy who blew up last time. 
Uh, his absence, however brief, that will be truly felt. Contains Ramba's ashes. That's not possible. We didn't find any ashes. What? Why would you say that? Wow, okay. Uh, you guys. Paused a moment. Are you guys okay there, Huang? That was a very odd thing to say in response to what I said. Like, no, I, I was the one who found his crashed ship. There's no body there. Um, Boom Boom says, snort empty. it. Oh my god. <laughs> of the hourglass. So Remba begins another journey around the loop. As we remember him, so he sails the rivers above. I guess we can ask who the lady is. This lady, I don't recognize her. I think that's his mother. Oh dear. She's foul breath. It was good of my eye to invite her. Wouldn't you expect your mother at your funeral? Remember, often traveled to Elbeth to see his family. It was like you in that way. Uh, I don't have any family. I never even knew my mother. Never? There are a lot of orphans on Elbreth. Perhaps when I grow up I'll understand why. Hmm. My mother was a carpenter. She made a lot of the chairs in this place. <laughs> we were quite sarcastic about the chairs in this place last time. Ah, uh, sorry, what did Chet say? Something out of the People hourglass, but don't sing. make them cry. The words were weird and old. The sound drifted up and away into the nebula. Maybe Rimba could hear us. Maybe not. Didn't matter. It was beautiful anyway. See, I must admit, I hadn't realised that Ali was like canonically an atheist atheist i think it was just i just assumed that when i was asked like oh well what do you think about the loop and i was allowed to be kind of indecisive i assumed that was just you know bluff background there's the turn will depart chanting, chanting died oh. away there were echoes then they were gone too Friends, thank you for coming. Janika will be grateful for your support. The people began to murmur, then to talk. Right, okay. Huang, seriously, you gotta... Like, like, no. I promise you that they didn't have his body, okay? I'm the one who found that Janiki was dead. There was no body there. Bye. Oh. We didn't get to ask any of the questions because I was too busy bothering Huang. Quick, I gotta go after his mom. Quick, don't let her get away. Hi, Six. Stop that lady. Um. Keen to show it to her. Oh, I think she's too fast. I think she's leaving the thing. Bother. Oh well. I didn't realize that it was gonna be timed. That I, I I could like time out on speaking to the lady or, or talking about my eye either. Oh, wow! <laughs> that took you a while. Um, good work. Yay! We're being nice to Six. He's smiling a lot more. Are you going to tell us where that was though? Uh. Oh, he has actually narrowed this down quite a lot. Actually, has he? Maybe he hasn't. Never mind. Okay, so she pretended to have Ramba's body for some reason. Press my I use the word Sleeset. What does it mean? Oh, it's a good job we didn't turn him off that time. 
Nope, never mind, we turned him off. Uh, Kaffa says, Funny, Rambo's mother also doesn't believe in the loop and doesn't understand why they do the ashes thing. She respects Rambo's religion. We can assume probably a lot of Elvathians also don't believe. Oh, okay. I see. I assume that everyone, everyone believed in it. Uh, okay. Um, I said Sleeset and then you went quiet. And now he's going to go quiet again when we say Sleeset. Whoop. Are you supposed to find that out by talking to the mother? <laughs> oh, don't start that again. Oh no. Hi there. Mistress? But he didn't do that when Mayari said Sleeset. Keffel <laughs> says the season thing is hilarious. And he just doesn't get it. What happened? Shocked face. Yep. Where's the what's the, the Pikachu shocked face? That's Alia every time she says the word Sleeset. I can't remember if this is the same music that was here on El Breath the last uh here on Iox the last time I went I came here. But it definitely feels like Somber. Okie dokie, Professor, we're coming. I've got you that crown that you mentioned. I literally went straight there and came straight back, so like I don't know why you were quite so... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it was the least I could do. Now you didn't know him. Alia, do you have any friends? On Elbreth I do. Perhaps I should send you back there. Oh, okay. Blimey. Uh, I'll have a look at the desk. Sounds like I caught your attention? Yeah. Uh, I, I had... I had a pop-up pop button for it. Couldn't be curious somewhere else. Do you not want this crown? <clears throat> what else have we got? You have more books than Huang. Yeah, he has a pathetic little library for a library. Books are not his, nor are these ones mine. Point. Is there a copy of Mazwai here? You know Mazwai was a sailor and a scholar? Um. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Do you, does she think I'm Mazwai reincarnated? Is that why she likes me? Huh. Huh. Right. Anyway, I've got this crown for you. Um. Oh, <laughs> I tried that word, Sleeset. I find that so funny every time. Oh dear, that just really cracks me up. It's, I'm so, it's so bad. Does that do something to the robot? The robots, the machines, they have a few curious features. Uh, it's some kind of override to control them with. The ancients who built the robots did not see them as individuals the way that we see them. They made them unless they saw them as tools to be fashioned and hence to be controlled. She's worked it out, careful! She did it! Would you use a tool that could not be controlled? Um, how many words are there like this? I have no idea. Uh, right. What do I say to her? Do I confront her? Or am I just going to give her the crown? Um, do you know how Janiki's ship might have exploded? I imagine he didn't know how to sail it. I told him to take a robot. Oh, he didn't have a robot with him! That's interesting. Um... Give her the crown. Let's not be confrontational. I brought it. Here it is. This is what we found on the moon. 
Beautiful. Do you know what it is? Uh, it's a crown. <laughs> Shall I tell you what it really is? I know, I think. It's a device of some kind. My friend on Elbreth could have activated it, but she didn't. Six? She did not, Professor. If this is the Empress Crown, Ajax would never have parted with it. I can imagine you lifting this from the ashes of the last Emperor himself. And yet Remba found him, a roboticist. Embarrassing. I wonder how. Uh... My pleasure. We look kind of alike in a way. Facial structure wise. Oh, yeah, this is your moment. Off you go and enjoy it. Um. What do you make of it? What do you mean this is my moment? Disappointing. What were you expecting? I was hoping you'd found something worse than the price Bremba paid. Fair enough. Some of the Empire's great relics are more than they first appear. The crown had a mechanism. They have mentioned it. Devices such as that crown. Recordings of important people. The Emperor's believed in the loop. They still fears death. Everyone fears death. Death, Alia, and the Fall. The Emperors knew it was coming. They guarded what they could against it. Stored whatever knowledge they could. That was all I wanted Remper to find out there. That was what I wanted you to find all this time, though you never listened. Our protectorate is the Empire of Old, and the Fall will come again. If we're not ready for it, we will not survive it. <clears throat> what are you hoping to find? Everything on Iox was destroyed. So we thought. That's what Remba was doing for me out there, trying to learn how the fall will occur. Remba found something inside one of his robots. He found the cause of the fall? I don't know. The robot told him something. Set him to digging up something on the moon near Elbereth. He hired labourers from the Elbereth market to do the work. Oh no, we're back in the slave arc. They had nothing to do something with that brooch. The robot knew about the fall. The robots know everything. The robots might know they can't remember. Six barely remembers being woken. Rewoken. The robots have no memory of what came before. Before they were buried here, they were wiped clean. I don't think a robot can truly forget. No more than a soul and the loop could be lost. The loop sustains all, Alia, all. Okay, what do you want me to do? Fall is coming, faster than we think. Find the observatory, whatever it is. Find out and then come and tell me. Perhaps I can help you. Okay. Now, if I continue talking with her, is it going to lead to me confronting her about what Rembo was doing? Uh, is the university flourishing? Perhaps one day you'll spend a bit more time here and see for yourself. Okay, sure. Oh, okay, we can't ask her anything else. Interesting. So she seems a lot more of a... a true believer... than... I really expected. And the loop thing is not operating quite the way I sort of thought it would. Like, it's not like a literal loop loop, in that everything happens exactly as it was, but it's more... It sounds more like it's just like a history repeats itself kind of loop, I guess? If she's saying that the, the current protectorate is the same thing as the old empire. Hmm. Be seeing you, Ollie. And she wants me to find the observatory, which is also interesting. Do you believe her? Do you believe in the loop? What do you think? I have no data, mistress. Uh, Gavel says, yeah, it's so murky. Oh, uh, these are th things that I wasn't wasn't figuring out last time. Sometimes they claim it happens down to detail, same people, same words. Clearly she wants to avoid the fall. Hmm. That is a good point, actually, Ali. You have never found a robot. 
Because of Wonderful says she thinks it can be changed. Yeah. So far, my purpose is unclear to me. Hmm. Hmm. Time to go, mistress? Uh, no, I want to speak to Huang. What's up, robot? Detected a certain coldness between you and the professor. She's like a mother to me. People always detest their mothers. Oh dear. Uh, well. Let's go speak to old library boy. Hmm. The Iox stuff is a lot less harsh than I sort of thought. I don't want to do with myself. It's a shock for everyone. No one lives forever, of course. Professors have died before. What about you? Have you died before? Uh, I had some artifacts to show you, actually. Uh, sure, I'll show you this Rebesque foil. I'm not sure we have anything quite like that one. Shall I archive the square? No, I need that. Definitely. Uh, Keffel says, thanks to the loop, apparently we've died a lot before. Hmm. I mean, we've died once already, presumably, in this, uh... Because seeing as this is the New Game Plus. Why aren't there any books older than the First Empress? That's a good question! Well, you don't have books older than the First Empress. I know you found older. Our things down here. Make small talk. Talk. Sure, I guess. Okay. Made some nice discoveries out there. Uh, have a look at this stabby thing. What do you think of the stabby thing? There's an inscription. I read it as Merchant's Finest. Cool. Sign off merchants. Interesting. I've seen something else like that. Also had some script. Oh, he's gonna have to come all the way down the stairs. Oh my god, Huang. You're not animated quickly enough for this. Here it is. This was written on a copper pocket knife was found buried here on Iox back in my mother's time. Right, so what have we got? Every... Uh, something that I don't know... will die. For, oh god, is this for the Emperor? Every something will die for the Emperor. That's concerning. Uh, this is going to be soldier. It's, it's one unit of an army. It's person who kills. Every soldier will die for the Emperor. Okay, actually that makes a little bit of sense, I guess. It's not, it's not saying like, we're going to kill them all. It's saying we have, like, the devotion for it. More stuff, please. A picture of a piece from a leather knife found floating in the withering waves. A uh, broken piece from a longer phrase. Well, we've got an and here. Some words have an and in them, which I really don't like, but most of them don't. Is this going to say to infinity and beyond? Uh, until death? Oh, this is fight until death and beyond. I feel like I've seen that before. I'm sure I've seen that phrase before. Where have I seen that phrase before? Hmm. Fight until the death and beyond. Interesting. Not where I would put the the, but okay.
Hmm. Uh, I'm not finished with it yet. Uh, the eye like crystal. Which might one day be like an anti gravity device. Uh, do you know what it is? Oh, this is different. This isn't about text. It looks like Iolite. I'm sure Six could have told you that. He did. It's not worth anything. So your finds have to be amazing. You'd best keep it. I don't think the Archers will want it. You can show me your other finds later, perhaps. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess that's it for Iox today. Uh, sure, let's go. Uh, we are almost bang on 3 o'clock, so it's probably a good time for us to wrap up the stream. Interesting things happening on Iox. Huh. I don't quite know what to make of it. I was I was definitely not expecting the professor to just send me out in search of the same thing that I was going to go looking for anyway. You know? I was sort of expecting we might have to, like, dive around her and what she wants a little bit. Uh, but still, that is uh, all we've got time for today. So I want to say thank you everyone very much for uh, watching. Uh, oh, Keffel says she probably thinks the observatory is connected to the fall. I guess that makes sense. I guess I perhaps also assumed that she was a lot more cynical than she actually comes off as. This was fun. It, it was nice to visit the place that I'd not seen before. It's crazy how the game just lets you miss, like, the entire planet. <laughs> uh... Alright, yeah, sorry. Uh, I was doing a wrap-up, wasn't I, theoretically? Uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed watching uh, and you're here with me on Twitch, please do drop a follow. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, please do remember to drop a like and maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. I have one and a bit full runs through of Heaven's Vault under my belt on that YouTube channel. Uh, so if you want to watch through and also realize that you don't understand what's going on even after a whole playthrough, then that's there for you to do just that. Uh, I want to say a big thanks to Keffel, as always, for being around and being very super duper helpful in the chat. Uh, to Boom Boom for stopping by as well, it's always lovely to see you both. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow doing something, I'm not quite sure what yet. Thursday's a bit of a, a, a wobbly day sometimes. Uh, but until then, Thank you everyone so much for being here, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ra! Bye!